Did you know there's a rare disc herniation that is sometimes even missed on MRIs by radiologists? I had a patient come and see me recently and he was complaining of severe pain that was radiating down the front of his thigh. His primary care doctor thought that he probably had a disc herniation pinching a nerve, so he sent him for an MRI and it did not show any nerves being pinched. And he came into my office and he was kind of bewildered. He said, it seems by everything that I'm reading online that I have a nerve being pinched, but I'm being told that the MRI is negative. And he showed me the report and I looked at it and I was like, well, yeah, by this report, I, I'm not seeing that there's any nerve involvement here, but I always review MRIs and give my own interpretation and evaluation. Any spine surgeon does that. We just don't go by the reports. We're surgeons. We have to see the pathology. And initially, I didn't see anything, but as I was looking at the axial images, so come here, I want to show you this. These are the sagittal images. This is us looking at the spine from the side. You can think of it as a lateral view. So this is the front of the spine. This is the back of the spine. And here in this area, these are where the nerves are. And I'm looking for any disc herniations or boulders. I really don't see anything. The nerves look free in the sagittal film here. So then I go to the axial view you're looking down into the spine, almost like an aerial view, but everything's reversed. So left is right and right is left. And right here, one click, it's gone. Other click the other way, you don't see it. But right there, I see this. Behold, the far lateral disc herniation. And you can see it right there. This is the far lateral disc herniation coming out from the side of the disc. See, most disc herniations are in this area. These little dots are the nerves. They're in here. So this is where your eyes are kind of drawn to when you're looking at this film. But here is where the pathology is. And this is actually outside of the spinal canal. These disc herniations are rare. And these disc herniations are just painful to have. And that's because the dorsal root ganglion sits right in this area. It's a collection of cell bodies and nerves and patients have extreme pain. I explained what was going on to the patient and he was so relieved to have a diagnosis. He literally told me like, I thought I was going crazy. I knew a nerve had to be pinched. So this is a patient that we did perform a surgery on. He had tried conservative measures. He didn't get better. He was in severe pain. He actually came to my office using the walker. I performed a far lateral microdiscectomy and a little more of a complex type of surgery. I did this through a tube. Incision was probably about an inch or so. He was discharged the same day. And soon after surgery, his leg pain had improved significantly and he continues to do well.